I can't believe it fits. No alterations needed, it's gone straight in. Matt? Matt? Ah! Are you okay? What happened? You passed out. The engine. Is it okay? It doesn't fit. No. Matt! 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 Saves having to take all the pulleys off again just to get the bracket off. So I have to cut the tire belt cover as well, just so we can get the mount on and off. Need to replicate this now with a mounting point raised up 40 mil.
there's the start of the new mount. We'll just check it in position and then we'll just weld on an edge like that, just around the outside to strengthen it up. It sits pretty much about there. Check it still, keeping the same distance. We have to redo it. The slot's too far this way. We need to take the slot back about 10 mil that way. It's gonna push the it's gonna push the engine further over this side. So to keep it right, we just need to Yeah. Well let's give it another go then. Yeah. Hopefully this one fits. tube up with the edge of that ridge there, right. the edge of that there. Oh right, yeah, this side is like that way. Yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah, I see that. Yeah, it wants to. So what, that mount there needs moving? Yeah, we'll bring that mount forwards as much as we can, body angle and the chassis leg starts to change. Then we can bring it forwards about 15 mil. Those need to fold it now. So this is the next stage. I'm gonna trim this out of here and then that'll drop down into there bolt it in um, and then those two will get welded together.
done now, ready to be fitted. I've just welded up these slot uh, slots that we put in for the bending. Uh, added a couple of like gusset strips there, and then one on the underside, and put a bit of flat plate in there as well, just give it a bit more strength. So should be good.